Hello friends, in this exercise you will learn about the series. There are two types of the series used in Excel. One is growth type and the other is linear type. So let's see first of all what is the growth type of the series. I have written two uh, terms of the series like 2 and 4 and I'm selecting this range to build the series. So I will go to home, fill and here we have got series option. So I am clicking this option, you will get a dialog box out of it and here you have to define what type of series you want. I want a growth type of the series with a step value of 2 and a stop value of 1000 and I am clicking OK. So here is the series 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 just being doubled because the step value was 2 and 128, 256, 512, 512 when doubled will cross 1000 that is why it stopped here. So I am undoing it and again I am trying to make a series. I have deleted 4 from here. I am going to fill, clicking series. I am in this dialog box once again. I am defining 2 as the step value and there is no stop value as such and clicking OK. So here is the series once again. The series came to 26 because I had not opted for growth type of the series. It became a linear series that is why it has grown in a linear way maintaining the difference of 2. So 2 became 4, 4 after 4 added 2 to become 6 and so forth it increased. So I am undoing it. I am again taking this range going to series and defining the step value of 2 and taking the growth type of the series, clicking OK. So here is the series. You can see the series has been made and it has gone up to the selected range. So there was no limiting value like 1000 in the earlier case and so it has closed 1000 here and has gone up to the last cell selected in the range. Here this is how the growth type of the series can be created and here there are uh, this is about the linear series. So I have uh, written the two terms of the series, one, two. So there is a difference of one uh, between these two. If you select these two terms and hold this handle with the help of your mouse and drag it downward, you will see it has created a series. Similarly, here, there are two terms, 2 and 4. I am selecting these two and dragging the handle to create a series of difference of 2. So it is basically table of 2, it is basically the table of 1. So if I, you know, select the entire range and hold this handle and drag it in the right direction, you will see it will create a series here it has created a series of difference of 1, here it has created a series of difference of 2, here it has created a series of difference of 3, here it has created a difference of uh, 4 and uh, so forth. But in turn what has happened, it has created a table of 3, it has created a table of 4, it has created a table of 5 and so forth. So this way the series can be uh, understood and it is very simple way to create a table or a linear series in Excel. Hope it is clearly understood and you will, you have enjoyed learning and uh, you will apply this learning at your workplace. Now, uh, this is not the end of the discussion. I am continuing like if you have written P1 in this manner. P one and 
if you hold this handle and drag it, it will write P2, P3, P4 for you. So, if you drag it further, it will continue numbering it. Alright? So, now again, if you write QR1, QR1, then it will go for QR2, QR3, QR4. It is not the quarter of a year. So, it is continuing with QR1 through 12. Now, if you write Q1 in place of QR1 and then drag it, you will find it is repeating QR1, QR2, QR3, QR4 and then again QR, Q, Q1, Q2, I am sorry, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and then again Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So, it is repeating. It is considering there are four quarters in a year and that is why it keeps on repeating from 1 to 4. That's it. So, if you write serial number 1 and drag it in the similar fashion, it will write serial number 2, 3, 4 and so forth. Similarly, if you write year 1, it will write year 2, year 3, year 4, year 5 and up to where you drag it. If you write sun, then it will understand you are writing Sunday. And if you drag it, it will write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and again repeats the Sunday. So, if you write Monday, the complete spelling, then it will write the complete spelling of all days and will repeat the days in series. So, these are ready made series, you don't have to do anything to generate in all the pieces everywhere you can uh, create this series if you write Jan it will write January for you Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July but if you write the complete you know spelling then again Excel will write complete spelling of the months in this manner so the series is very important part of Excel. The most important part is the date that we have to learn. Here the date is 26th 8-2018. Now I am changing this date. I am changing it to 22nd of 8-2018. Now if I drag the handle and I create a series, then look at this series. It is 22nd of August of 2018. Now it became 23rd of August, 24th of August, 25th of August of the same year. Similarly, it has created a date series by changing the day part. But if you want to change the month part, keeping year part and the day part constant, then that is also possible. So for that, you have to uh, click to this autofill option and in this autofill option you have many other options like copy cells, fill series, fill formatting only, fill without formatting, fill days, fill weekdays, fill month, fill years and flash fill. So if we go for fill days this will be the series. If we go for fill weekdays then look at this series 23rd, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th and 26th date are not there. They are Saturdays and Sundays. They are called weekends. So they have been excluded from this series. So this manner weekends are not included in this series. Only the working days or five days are included in this series. So if you take weekdays option it will exclude the weekend days from the series. If you click fill month then 22nd of August 2018 and 22nd of September then 22nd of October and then 22nd of November of 2018. So after December it has changed to 22nd of January 2019. So, this way series is continuing. If you select the month part, you know, if you 
to select till month part of this option. If you select year part, then it will change the year part of the year part of this date. That means 22nd of August 2018, 22nd of August 2019, 22nd of August 2020, and so forth. So this way you are getting a versatile option in this series. And this is very important to understand and know if you want to use series in Excel. Hopefully you have understood the series very well that I have taught you here and hopefully you will be able to understand and use uh, series in Excel. Thank you very much. Happy learning.